Welcome back to another Terranscapes video. Uh, this video is part three of this current update of where I am working on this Elf Town project. Uh, if you are new to the channel, especially, <laughs> at least go back to part one of this update um, and I will put a, wait a minute, I got it. I will put a uh, link up here in the corner for you to jump to that video because this will be completely confusing and a, a complete loss if you don't do that. So if you're brand new, stop and then go check that out. Um, if you have been watching and my explanation in part one doesn't make enough sense for you, um, then there's also a playlist in my channel that starts this project right from the get-go and you can see the genesis of it and uh, my thinking on where I wanted it to go and where it's been going so far. So if you're already up to date and you came back from that video and you're like, where are you going with this? Well, then let's uh, take a look at part three and see. So here's the slightly more advanced version of that um, uh, staircase uh, at the moment. And I've, I've put it up next to this one so you can understand a little more clearly about what I mean. If I had columns at, say, each of the corners of the landings, like here, right, I would need a column on the outside and a column on the inside because of the width here, right? Or I could do an individual column in the middle, but for a traditional column, that's not going to really look right. But by using a tree, I can put the center of the tree at any spot I want and then have branches radiating out from it along the tops of the staircase, which allows me to spread the support um, while at the same time preserving even more of the interior visually. And so um, as I uh, move down the stairway, right, I can leave really large areas open um, so that I'm not competing with this window quite as much. And this is going to be aesthetically a lot more pleasing to look at um, rather than a series of arched pillars that are going to um, be very heavy visually, um, when especially if you're a little elf inside your building and you're trying to look out. So that was a major shift and one that I really liked a lot. And here you can see I've made a little note to myself. Um, as I was putting these together, I realized that right in here where you can see this, this sort of looks like fingering coming up and supporting the roof rather than trailing along it in a sort of root fashion this gives a much better sense of support and so this will be the the look i will be using um, when i finally develop these and i will have to um, sculpt these trees and then leave them in a in a pliable state if you will and then adjust them to the stairs um, as they go and um, probably each tree will have to be created individually because it'll be too complicated to actually mold and cast uh, but we'll get there later on then my next uh, question was how to um, decorate it. And so here you can see what I've um, settled on and I think I'm gonna stay with this um, very, very closely was to, um, because of the narrowness, if you look over here, this is a very, very long, empty palette to fill. That's, that's, that's tough. That is not uh, friendly. So um, I thought using some text would work very well because of its linear fashion. But at the same time, I need to break it up visually um, because, it, like I said, it is so long. So I decided to create these little uh, brackets. And so you have to um, envision that these brackets are raised. So this area is a recess, all right? And then, um, and these will be um, joined with this. this. They look separate right now because they are, but this is all gonna be one piece. And then I could add engraving alongside the, uh, the words uh, to, um, you know, flourish, you know, add some, some flourishes at interest to the section that contains the words and fill that area up a little bit. And then I have options of, you know, putting in a little icon here and um, putting this icon at the top here. And I think I'm going to stay with this. I'm going to think about it just a little bit more, but I think I'm going to stay with that as well. So... So, <laughs> I make it sound easy. So that is the staircase that I have decided to go with to match the curve of the front of this building in such a way that it comes up to this large balcony while allowing easy 
visual access from the building windows down below to the outside world. Now, the last thing before I leave this is to say that um, playing a miniature right here is not easy because you have to reach in under the stairs, right, to get him or her or it in there. Uh, and that here's, you know, this opening will probably be a little bit bigger, you know, because I'll be adjusting the trees as I go. I put these in whoop, mainly as um, visual guides for me for weight and uh, distribution. But this is not, you know, in any way a, a final form uh, mock up. So I <clears throat> I think I'm going to have to have the stairs um, be removable via magnets. Um, so I'll probably have it clip into the building uh, via magnets in a couple spots, have it just be like half of the staircase. And then you can just pull the staircase away to deal with minutes underneath and then it'll just pop snap right back into place that's probably where i'm going to go with that um, but uh you know i'll know a little bit more down the road as to how to solve that problem best and lastly uh very quickly i just want to show you how i've shifted to designing the buildings and my thoughts about their production as i mentioned before trying to assemble individual pieces from all of the little components that that make them up is uh not going to really be feasible so what i've decided to do is create substructures and then a uh, sub -assembly I'm calling them, and then use those to build the buildings such that at the time of production, I can assemble this piece and then make a mold of it and cast them as needed to fill in the other uh, buildings as I work on them. And so, you know, here you can see, um, you know, this is the center doorway of the uh, large building I was just showing you. And here is the section with the large uh, windows so I can um, cast two of these cast one of these put them together uh, bow it to meet the front of the building which will be um, easier to do with them being um, a resin plastic because that's easier to shape than wood in many ways and then off I go so what you see here is the first building uh, building two and me breaking it down into its sub assemblies and then coming over to this this is building three and grabbing some of the new elements from that and then this is building four and you can see the new element here I'm just using as a placeholder because it's not finished um, the new elements that will be part of building four and so as I continue to build I will be taking elements from these to assemble future buildings and so there will only be you know a few newer sub assemblies as I go forward I think um, after a few more pieces I'll really have more than enough to assemble buildings in a variety of ways um, because I can um, mix and match more and more pieces and I'm pretty done mm -hmm, we'll see with um, creating more complicated pieces you know like this window and this certainly is all I'm doing for circular stairs. I'd like to use it on other buildings where it's just half of it coming up um, and and coming up to another uh, balcony. And I'll need to um, think about that as I design the next buildings. But this has to be used in more than one place because it was an incredible time investment um, to make this happen. That means um, I need some return on that time investment. And of course, here are the floors um, for the other buildings. And this allows me also to match walls to floors so that I have standardized dimensions to make sure that everything fits uh, rather than finding out I only need you know half of this wall well that's not possible um, I'm going to be using the wall and I don't want to have to be responsible for trying to cut walls evenly or something like that to use subsections of them that's not going to happen this is a piece minus the, the bracings that are here and that piece will be used um, for the assembly well that's a lot hopefully um, you found that interesting uh, and I uh, feel very positive about the sub-assembly idea, and as I started working on building four, I immediately started reaping the rewards of that uh, until I came up with that staircase. <laughs> so, mm. so um, I won't forecast uh, that there won't be any more you know, new complicated pieces added to some buildings. I still have a vision of a very large, very large opening to a tall building. Um, at least one of those is coming, calling back to the first building, um, even though that wasn't feasible once I learned about laser cutting in a little bit more detail. I do recommend that you stay tuned to the channel because I have parts on hand that have been cut and I will be putting them together
into some sub-assemblies as well as maybe the entire building as long as the parts work. We'll see, it's a test of my, my designs. And uh, that will be happening soon. And so a video on that will also be coming soon. I'm super, super excited to be able to put those together and see finally all of this hard work starting to come together into a three-dimensional structure. So, uh, so just before I um, dash out of here, I just want to mention, um, of course, that um, liking the video helps me get more people to see me. <laughs> Talk about vanity. I want more people to see me. No, but I mean, uh, gets more people to view the channel and uh, that's um, good for me and hopefully it's good for them because I hope I offer something to the community that maybe other people don't offer. I try to try to do something a little different. And if you want to support this channel just a little bit more, you can go to Patreon. Ah, I'll get it. And um, there you can pledge a small amount. You know, my channel is ad free. It has been since the day when I started. And so um, I like it being ad free. And when people pledge, it's um, a way of helping to compensate me for not barraging you with ads about Buicks and advertising that YouTube throws at all of us every day. Um, so that's one way to support the channel and it means a lot to me and it helps it really helps more than you might imagine. So uh, thank you for the consideration on that. And um, stay tuned because I have more videos coming up. Some of them already shot. And when I get a chance to edit them, I'll get them right out to you. Uh, so if you come back for those, uh, then you'll know that I will be back soon with another Terrence video.